Pastor John. My name is Dawn. Hi, Dawn. And in a sense, you somewhat answered my question um, through this gentleman here. However, I'm a mother of two adult daughters who are unsaved. Both have significant others who happen to come from Christian homes. I'm not allowed to mention Christ to them at various times. I've been informed that I'm not to mention God or I will not be welcomed in their home. Interestingly enough, these Christian in-laws are respectful of this request. As my daughter tells me, they only have to pray over meals in their homes. Why is this such an urgent burden upon my heart? And how do I resign myself to honoring the requests? I don't think you have to honor that request. Why would you honor that request? Because they won't let me in their home if I don't. That's their choice. That's their choice. I, I, where I go, Christ goes. When I open my mouth, I speak of him. I, I don't have a language without him. If you tell me I can't come into your place and speak to the honor of Christ, then I can't be in your place. Um, and I think that kind of alienation is more stark than you conforming to them. It is not, it's not lovelessness on your part to do that. It is faithfulness. You, you, are, you belong to the Lord. You can't even live life without speaking of Christ. Where do they get the testimony then? That, the, the testimony will come if that is the purpose of God. The, their salvation isn't left in your hands. That, that belongs to God to save them. Um, you know, Jesus talked about casting your pearls before swine. You, you just don't throw away holy things in front of people who tread on them. And to silence yourself about that is to acquiesce to that. That makes them feel more justified. I think they need to pay the full price of that kind of demand on your life. And you need to be continually reminding them I want to be in your life. I want to be a part of your life. I want to be with you, but I will and I must talk of Christ because he is the one you need. If you don't want me to do that, then I can't be with you. Tell me when you're ready for me to speak the things that are most important to me. Okay? Thank you, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Hi, good evening, Pastor John. My name is Jose Delgado and we're